everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so here he is, the soldier of God, Olympic silver medalist, Yoel Romero. It's amazing to think he hasn't had a UFC belt around his waist. Most people think, or I should say, some people think he did enough to beat Robert Whitaker back in the day, but this is still one of the best middleweights on the planet. He's one of the most naturally talented guys that I've ever met. From the moment I met him back, in the wrestling days, way back around 2001, you understood that you were looking at something special in Yoel Romero. And although he started his career very late, I knew that he would get to this point. Now that he has developed that quick knockout ability, couple that with his wrestling, and you have one of the perennial middleweight top contenders. Hard to find a lot of glaring weaknesses when you study the film on Yoel Romero. Some might knock the cardio, but seems to get his breathers in there in a 25 minute fight. And you've heard past opponents like Luke Rocco, Robert Whitaker talk about literally kicking Stone. a man of steel. He's stoned. Yoel Romero, folks, here he is. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again. The moment he walked into AKA, understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English, he was always listening and paying attention to try to learn how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Yoel, soldier of God, Romero! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, All right, go through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to corners, come out fight. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. But he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the field. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice strike landed there by Romero. These guys throwing early. And they separate. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from W. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Focus, focus. the shot. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Romero. Doubles up on the jab. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Joel Romero. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body. Oh! That body. He's a trouble. He's a bad. to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big bottom kick lands. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. 20 seconds left. Beautiful kick. Lands the right hand. Nice hook. Whoa! Whoa. Right up down. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sends his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, champs, second round now. Your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Let's go, guys, Joel fight. Roman. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Effective punch there by Romero. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Well, showing no signs of slowing down. 41 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Joel Romero. Well, in terms of the efficiency on the feet, landing with 36% accuracy here thus far against the Dragons. Whoa! done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was 
landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yoel, soldier of God, Kumar. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what... Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. And then the party...